Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 30 in chapter 3. In this one, um, it asks you to find how much uh, the displacement in horizontal a person can jump on moons as compared to the Earth. Uh, if it takes off, the speed and angle are the same. The acceleration due to gravity on the moon is the one sixth of what is on the Earth. So this problem is when we first do that, we think, wow, it is difficult. But then we can consider the, this uh, person jump on the Earth at the very beginning. We can see this is a reference point, and we have a horizontal and a vertical, and this person jump from there to there. Right? And when we consider this is Earth, we can consider the motion in the two components, x component and the y component. And because this is a project motion, the acceleration pointing down. So acceleration is negative g. So, and there is just a initial velocity. And then we look at the initial velocity. This one. And because we consider the motion in two components, we must project it in two components. V O X. V O Y. Do you agree? V O X is V naught times the cosine theta. V O Y is V naught times sine theta. This side. Now let's see. We can do that. Now in this case, first thing we consider is the y component. We can say initial position is there, final position is there. So we can write this uh, function, the position with the time t. We can say initial position is zero, final position is zero, and then the initial velocity is given v v o y, and the acceleration is negative g. So in this one, we can find the time t. Agree? The time t is there, two times v naught v y naught divided by g. Now we need to find the displacement in x component. The displacement in x component is just the v o x times t, the velocity times t, because the acceleration at the horizontal component is just zero. So this motion in x component is is just with the constant velocity v o x. So we use v o x times t. And then input the t at there, we find is this one. And then we can input the v o x, we just say it's v naught times cosine theta. And the v y naught is v times sine theta. So in this one, we get it there. Right? So in this one, we find the displacement in horizontal is just in this equation. And then, because the, we can consider this mass equation and write it more simple in this way. So the displacement in x component is v naught square sine two two times theta theta two times theta divided by g, and then now we consider the motion on the moves very similar. It should move the same. So we must keep this uh, one. It tell us the displacement, the relationship between the displacement in x component with the initial velocity and angle theta. So on the earth. It satisfies this equation. This g is uh, due to the gravity on the on the Earth, right? And then on the moons, it is exactly the same. This uh, g is just uh, the gravity due to the moon. And then we can say this this term and this term are exactly the same. So we can write the equation in this one. And we know we know the uh, the Earth the the acceleration due to gravity on the moon is one six, that on the Earth. So we can then do the calculation for the displacement on the moon. So this is just on the moon r on the moon divided this g at this side. So it is this one, and g, the gravity on the Earth divided by gravity on the moon six six times. So then it is six times far farther. Thank you.